Okay, we are live. Yes, yes, and yes. Okay, fabulous. Well, happy Wednesday, guys. It is um, Wellness Wednesday chat today, and I'm super excited to come into talk with you about why your weight doesn't actually matter. I know, mind blown. I have a weight loss program. I talk about weight loss. I do weight loss. I've helped people with this for years and years and years. And here I am telling you that your weight doesn't actually matter. What the heck, Megan? I know. So um, the thing is, if you are somebody who has goals of trying to change your body composition, um, trying to change and improve your health, um, maybe you go to the doctor and you know they tell you all these different risks. The first thing that they're gonna say to you or the first thing that you're gonna think or the first thing that comes to mind when we think about improving our health is, okay, I need to lose weight, right? And in actuality, um, yes, this is this is a big part of it. You know, we know that there's so much that's linked with obesity. However, um, there's also a lot of research that shows that your weight, your actual number and your actual BMI, which is like your weight to height ratio, is not always the number one indicator of um, your health, first of all. And also, it's not always an accurate picture of whether what you're doing is working to get you the results that you want, okay? And I've seen this over and over. Maybe you've been here before. Like maybe you have started on a program, maybe you've started exercising, or you've started watching what you eat and trying to you know, have better portions or cut out sugars and all of that. And every single day, you go into the bathroom, maybe you do it first thing in the morning, maybe you just pop in throughout the day or right after your workouts to see what's happening on that scale. Because we want that validation, right? We want to know that what we're doing is working, that it's worth it. And there is nothing that's more frustrating than getting on that scale and either it's not moving or it's moving in the wrong direction. Like raise your hand if that has happened because <laughs> that moment when you've, maybe if it's been like a couple weeks and you've really been going hard and all of a sudden you see that number go up, it's like, WTF, like why am I putting myself through this if this isn't working um, or if I'm not seeing this this progress? And so I, I've i seen this over and over again. It gets discouraging, you wanna quit. And um, my clients that I work with uh, in the Mom Restore system and in the Boost Workout program, I talk to them about this a lot. Like get yourself back away from that scale because it is not an accurate picture of what is going on inside your body. And it's amazing to me when moms let that go and actually embrace the fact that there are, number one, there's other ways to track how your body is progressing when you are um, eating better, when you're exercising and doing all these things. Um, but also the, the sense of release of just, um, using that one measure to to determine whether or not you're doing well right like what if what if just feeling better what if um having better energy what if being in a better mood like what if that was enough and it didn't matter what that scale said so i just like right now i just want to challenge you with that you know if if that is your only measure of success and you are allowing the scale to um, steal all of the joys and all of the other wins that you might be having as far as your your digestion getting better and being in a better mood and just overall feeling better um, is it worth that you know we got to let that go but here's here's the thing the the scale and what goes into your body weight is not actually what most of us are after when we start on a diet when we start on um, an exercise program. What you're actually after is fat loss. And so I wanna just differentiate those two things because it is, uh, it is really important to understand that. That weight loss is that number on the scale going down, right? And then fat loss is your body burning off extra body fat. And so when you get, when you get really honest and you think about like what is it that I actually want here, um, what matters, like if you talk to doctors, if you talk to trainers and people that track health and just body composition in general, what we're actually after is losing body fat. 
right? We know that um, there's something that's called your, your hip to waist ratio, like how uh, round you are in your midsection compared to your waist. Like this is directly connected with diabetes and heart disease and early death. And so like, it doesn't matter what's going on with the scale. If we can get rid of some of that abdominal fat that your body is holding on to, that's actually what's going to help you to be healthier and set you up for a longer, healthier life. So the, that's the difference. There's the, the weight loss and then the fat loss. And so shifting our thinking away from just, I need to lose weight. I need to lose weight. I need to see that number go down to actually understanding um, the fat is what is what needs to go. That's when you're going to start to see your muscles and that's when you're going to, your clothes are going to start fitting differently. And I'm just thinking of, um, you know, some of my clients that have been in that scale world and they start to track with some of these other ways that I'm going to share with you and like just how mind blown they are when they are they're measuring and they're using these other ways to track and they're like I am like losing inches and I never would have seen that before because I would I was only looking at the scale um and so it's it's an opportunity right for you to truly see and celebrate the wins that you need to be having so let's talk about your weight. Like why is, why is weight not an accurate picture of what's going on in your body? So when you step on a scale, you are looking at the weight of your entire body. And that is your body fat. Okay. That, that's part of the weight, but it's also um, your bones. <laughs> it is all the fluid that's in your body, the blood, the water. Um, it is the contents of your stomach and your bowels that you're weighing and your muscles. So your, your weight is looking at all of that. It is not just your body fat. And so here's some scenarios that are just really funny. I say funny, but um, that can affect your weight without actually changing um, what's going on within your body. So let's talk about the water first. Let's talk about the water because um, you, can, you can chug a bunch of water and step on the scale um, and all of a sudden your weight has gone up or, um, you can, you know, get your body to empty of water and see, you know, a couple pounds go down on that scale. And this is really relevant, like with things like exercise, right? I've, I've had, um, women who have gone and done like an hour or two workout, not drink any water. They're sweating, they're running, they're doing their thing. And then immediately after, they go and step on the scale to see like, okay, have I made some magic happen? And they're like, oh my gosh, I just lost a pound and a half. That's amazing. And I promptly turn around and say, you need to go drink a pound of water right now because you are dehydrated um, and you're gonna, you know, you're gonna feel all the effects of that. And then this is why like those sweatsuits are so popular because when you see, when that water goes out, it that changes your weight. And again, if you're only looking at the scale, you're going to think, okay, that's awesome. But on the flip side, your weight will go up when your body is retaining water. And so for women, um, this happens a lot during our period. Um, you know, you start to feel bloated, you're just kind of puffy and your body is retaining water. Um, if you eat a really salty meal or, um, I mean, there's lots of things that can affect your water retention. All of a sudden, your body is just going to hold on to water and your weight is going to go up on the scale. And this is one that a, another one that women come to me all the time, like during their period and they're like, oh, I'm gaining so much weight. You know, I'm, I'm just so big right now. And what's happening is their body is just storing water. Um, you know, you get a little inflamed in your stomach and, and it can feel like if you're looking at the scale and seeing that you've gone up two pounds, um, as well as, you know, your stomach is just bloated because your, you know, your uterus is doing its thing. Um, but psychologically, like think about what that can do to you when you're like, oh my gosh, you know, my, I can't buckle my pants. I've got, I've gone up two pounds on the weight and I'm dealing with all of my PMS symptoms and now I'm crying and I don't know why I'm trying to eat better and I don't know why I'm exercising. And this is when everybody reaches out to me like, Megan, what am I doing? Um, so we got to let that go. We got to understand that the scale is going to measure your water that's in your body. Um, and the same thing with you know, the contents of your, your stomach, what you eat. Um, after you eat a big meal, 
Thanksgiving, we just, in America, just had Thanksgiving. Like, you can stuff your body full of food all that day, and if you go get on the scale, yes, you might have gained two pounds. Some of that might be water retention from all the salt. You might have eaten a pound or two of food that is just sitting in your stomach, your colon, waiting to get uh, expelled. <laughs> um, and so that you know, doing that right in that moment and getting on that scale and then being like, oh, I'm so disgusting. You know, I've just gained all this weight. I've just made myself so big. Well, no, you just ate a lot of food and, and that needs to come out. And like, this is why cleanses are wildly popular um, because sometimes when our bowels aren't emptying properly, we can have a lot of stored um, stuff that's not coming out properly. Um, and so, you know, you do a cleanse and you, you remove all of that and you think, wow, I just lost five pounds. Sometimes people will lose up to 10 pounds. Um, I'm doing some work, baby. Guys, my son is home. Sick. It's broken. Okay. Let me take this outside real quick. Here. Come here. Can you stay here for one more minute? What? I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Mom life. We're live. Yeah, we are. <laughs> My son is homesick from school, so um, he might pop back in in just a second. But um, yeah, like when you cleanse and you get rid of all that, you're going to see some really quick weight loss. And so um, the, you know, the last thing is our muscle. Um, I'm a fitness coach. I'm a personal trainer. And if you have done any workouts with me, you know that I love strength training. And I believe that women need to be strong because our bodies need this. Um, however, muscle is dense. Like muscle, if you think about the difference, if you were to hold um, a marshmallow in one hand that is the exact same size as the rock that you're holding in the other hand, um, it is the same size, but the rock is denser and it weighs more. And that's how our muscles are. So when you are strengthening your body and you are you know, um, trying to increase your muscle tone, that is gonna make you weigh more because your muscles are dense. And as you grow your muscles, it's not that you're gonna like bulk up, but it's gonna impact your weight. And so this is another really big pitfall, you guys, where I see moms who start an exercise program um, and they're feeling great, they're feeling strong and feeling energized, and then they get on the scale. And they're like, oh, I just gained two pounds. How did this happen after I've been working so hard for a month? It is that your muscle weighs more and so that number can go up all right so knowing that your weight isn't accurate how do we properly track fat loss the easiest and simplest way is to do measurements measure different parts of your body um, use your clothes as a guide um, if you have access to like a body fat analysis then you can do that but um, we use measurements in my programs and it is just awesome so I'm sharing with this with I'm sharing this with you guys today because I know we are headed into the holiday season. Um, a lot of us are just going to be eating more. We're going to be celebrating more, and I know because of years and years and years of doing this, we come out that other side. And you know, the majority of people they they do gain weight because they're just overeating during this time, and then. January hits and all of a sudden we're thinking about all the ways that we can be healthier, lose that extra weight, feel better in our body. And I want to just help empower you. I want you to feel empowered with how to go into that as best as possible. And if you are somebody who is looking to change your body, you're, um, you're a mom, you're busy, and you also feel the impact of that on your body, through you know storing extra body fat just not eating well not moving well and you are ready to turn the corner and start moving in a different direction and finding ways to be healthier and care for your body even when you just have a little bit of time um, this is what I do I have I have two programs that I've created to help moms um, there is a, a workout program a 20 minute boost workout program that is short short daily workouts that are so effective and then my mom restore system and this is my weight loss <laughs> my weight loss program that takes you through eating better not less it's not a diet but it's it's all about just nourishing your body moving your body managing stress and all of all of these things that impact um, how our body looks and feels and so 
um, if you are curious to learn more about that and and how you can accurately track your progress i would love to chat with you um, we here at oxygen fitness coaching love to give and and serve that's why i have this group and so i i want to invite you to take advantage of something that i offer um, it's a free one-on-one -on -one call with me it's called the healthy mom breakthrough call and um, this is a chance for you to talk one-on-one -on -one with me um, to get support to get really clear on what's going on what's keeping you stuck where you want to be and, and why you're not there right now and then figure out a game plan to get you moving forward because you don't have to stay where you are you don't have to stay in um, the struggle and you certainly don't have to do it alone this is what I do and I would love to help you move forward like I've helped all my other clients so I'm just gonna pop a link right now um, into the chat here and if you want to chat you can schedule this anytime over the next couple weeks I am taking some time off over the Christmas holiday to go see my family which I'm excited about but you'll be able to see my calendar there and um, grab a spot that works for you sometime in the next couple weeks okay here it is all right so let's be healthy right let's be healthy let's take care of ourselves as moms put your oxygen mask on first so that you can be your best for your kids it's worth it it's worth it now when you feel better and have better energy it's worth it um, years and years from now when you can still be there and showing up for your kids so I'm here for you guys I'm gonna also now be here for my son who is playing in the backyard so graciously while I do some work and uh, I hope to chat with you soon